Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is the newborn must-haves, things I've been using over the past two weeks. Our girls are now over two weeks old. They are in the room with me. My husband's pottering around. India's just gone in to the Mamaroo and Rosabella is on the floor in the twin cushion. They're two items I'm going to be talking about today. So before I start, I just want to mention quite a few of these items were gifted with no obligation, but items I have been using so much. So of course I want to show you guys and show you how brilliant I've been finding them. I know I am very lucky to get items gifted to me for my girls and because of that, I kind of want to give something back. So with every item, like when I stop using it, I'm going to give it away to one of you guys. So make sure you're following me over on Instagram because that's where I'm going to do all of the giveaways. And I also have a brand new LV breast pump to give away, not in association with LV. I just have one that I want to give away, which is really exciting. And that's going to be in the next few days over on Instagram. And I also want to raise a little bit of money for Niku. Um, my local NICU, which is the RUH NICU, where the girls spent the first few days of their life getting all kinds of treatment. So here is a picture. Uh, I think I have a picture of Rosabella in the incubator that she was in. And that is when she was receiving treatment. She had mucus on her lungs and she had an infection. So she needed quite a bit of treatment in NICU and they were amazing. So I thought, what an amazing way to give back to give away all of the baby items that I have, and in doing that, raise some money for Niku as well. Everything will be explained over on my Instagram when I start doing the giveaways. The first thing, as I said, will be the brand new LV breast pump, which has been amazing. And I can't wait for one of you guys to be able to use it as well. The first item I want to start with, which is one of my, one of my most used items, is Full Mums. It's actually an American brand, but they're in the UK as well. The Mamaroo. It is amazing. Now, I first heard of the Mamaroo through my sister-in-law. She had one for her son, my nephew, Sonny. And she was like, oh, it's amazing. Like, he absolutely loves it. Great for newborns. Keeps them happy. So I thought, I'm going to have to have a look. I will leave links in the description box. And for transparency, let you know which items have been gifted. I cannot get enough of these Mamaroos. The girls absolutely love them. It sends them to sleep, which is fabulous. Obviously not at night, but in the day. So here we have India in hers now. So obviously I'm gonna show you the empty one actually, so it'd be easier. Obviously you have the straps here where you strap them in. It has two settings, so you can have them like that or it does go up, so it's kind of like more flat. This is the newborn insert, so you take this out when they get bigger. You have these balls up here that spin around. And then down here, you have all these different settings. So let's turn it on. So this is a car ride setting. It has so many different settings, but that's the one we seem to use the most. And then you can turn it up. I have to press the buttons quite hard. So it goes faster and faster and you can turn it right up to go quite fast like that. We never have it on that for the girls, obviously, because they're little still. So turn it down. We usually just have it on number one. So it also has a white noise kind of music. So here we have a heartbeat. And if you press that, some different sounds come on. And it also has an app, so you can connect your four mums Mamaroo to your phone. So you can control it via your phone as well. So the Mamaru retails around £300, so it is an expensive big buy, especially if you're having twins and you want to buy two. The only thing I will say with that is that they do hold their value for resale. So my sister-in-law picked hers up for £150, so if you do want to buy it and sell it on, um, you still get quite a good price for it second hand if you see what I mean or you could buy one at second hand and then sell it on again so the Mamaroos are of course going to be part of my giveaway the only thing I'm worried about with them is they're so big I don't know how I'd send them so that might have to be open to local people only I'm not sure yet maybe I'll come up with a genius way of transporting them I'm not sure I will though you can hear Rosabella <laughs> um, so that's the Mamaroos they are brilliant we love them and I highly recommend them. 
Bottles wise, we have been using the MAM bottles. These are the anti-colic bottles, I believe, and I got them in a big set on Amazon. And it, they were so cheap, I got them in the Black Friday deal. I think one of my lovely followers sent me the deal and brilliant brilliant bottles i honestly can't recommend them enough they are the only bottles i've ever used with any of my children if you're new to my channel I haven't even introduced myself um my name is lucy i'm a mum of four i have jensen who is six jesse who is three then i have the twin girls so brilliant honestly like the twins absolutely love them they suck them perfectly like the shape of the tea it must be all about the tea and they just go in their mouths they drink their bottles amazingly never had that before with the boys and we are also using the mam dummies now dummies i don't really know why they're quite so controversial but um they are i guess i use dummies with my first boy my second boy wouldn't take to a dummy so we didn't use dummies but we had no problems taking away my first son's dummy, so that's why I'm using them again with confidence, knowing that they've caused me no issues. And the man ones go straight in the girls' mouths. I thought they would be too small and they wouldn't be interested in a dummy, but because I've got to be quite rigid and stick to a routine with the two girls, they have been a lifesaver. So if they're like rooting around and looking, even though they've just had a bottle, you know what babies are like. Um, they take their dummy, it settles them, and they absolutely love it. So I cannot recommend the MAM dummies enough. They do have them in some funky colours. So far they have green and blue and we have one grey. I don't know where else I can get any neutral colour MAM dummies from. Or even girly colours. So far we have green, blue and one grey. So if anyone can let me know, I did get these off Amazon. And they said they were cream, but I mean, that's definitely not cream. But yeah, cannot recommend these bottles and these dummies enough. A great brand. I then want to come and show you my old school steriliser. So this is a Milton cold water steriliser. With the boys we had all the kind of fancy ones, but it was just a bit of a faff. And this is so much easier. So you just fill it with cold water and then put in a cold water sterilising tablet or um, a solution. And we used these actually when we used to go on holiday with the boys when they were young. So that is where we got the idea from. And it's kind of like taking it back to basics. It works fine. Everything is sterilised in 15 minutes. So it's quick and it's easy. And you can take it abroad with you because we like to travel quite a bit. And we'll be doing that with the babies. So we can take this abroad. We'll obviously fill it with all their bottles and stuff. Then pop it in the case. Then we will have a sterilising method abroad. We'll obviously be taking the cold water sterilising tablets as well. But yeah, I got it off Amazon and I'm very impressed with it. And of course, an essential, when you have a baby, is a nappy bag, and I cannot get enough of this one. This is from Kerry Kit, and it is so beautiful. I have it personalised, so it says Lucy, and it was gifted to me, and I am just in love with it, actually. I don't, I don't even want to get rid of this uh, when I don't need it anymore as a nappy bag. I think I'm going to just keep it as a bag. It also goes perfectly onto my pram with these. So my pram has a section where you can clip a bag on. So this clips on perfectly. It has so many different compartments. I show off a lot more in my what to pack in your hospital bag video. So I will link that below if you do want to see this bag in more detail. Loads of space, perfect for me. One of my favorite items. While I'm in the kitchen, these pumps deserve a video of their own, but these have been amazing for me. The LV breast pumps. I have a double one. Double breast pump. They slot on your bra so easy. And they just make pumping so easy. And I guess it's good for me because I can compare it to my first time when I tried to pump. And it was a nightmare. An utter nightmare. I think I'd give up after two sessions of trying. But the LV breast pump basically means that my girls get breast milk without it. I probably wouldn't still be giving them breast milk because they've had all kinds of issues with their weight and they're not putting on weight. So we need to measure how much they're drinking and to do that, obviously, you have to pump. So with this, I know exactly how much they're drinking. They do still latch on as well. These are just a lifesaver, but they do deserve a video of their own. So I'm gonna do a whole review on them. So that will be coming in the next few weeks. The next item I wanna talk about is 
these Cybex car seats. So I have two of them, obviously, because I have two babies. First of all, how beautiful is this print? This print is absolutely stunning and it also has the same print inside the newborn insert. Oh, I love it so much. Such a gorgeous car seat. So that is the first thing that I love about it. Second thing I love about it, it goes perfectly onto my pram. So the pram I have is the ABC Zoom Tandem Pram. And I'm working with them over on Instagram. So someone will be getting a brand new pram. But yeah, these car seats go perfectly onto the pram. They go perfectly onto quite a few prams as well. They went on the Bugaboo. They went on eye candy. They kind of go on all prams. Most car seats, when they're on prams, um, babies shouldn't really be in them for longer than, I don't actually know how long, but I think it's a few hours. But with this one, it has a live flat feature. So the babies can actually stay in these car seats for a lot longer on the prams because of the live flat feature. So you can see how flat the car seat goes. And then while in live flat mode, this comes right down as well to provide any shade or cover needed for the babes when in the pram. So this is just the most gorgeous car seat ever and I love having them both for the girls. So here on the floor we have my twin feeding pillows. So this is probably relevant just for twin mums, although I know you can get a single feeding pillow. It just makes the feed so much easier for me because they're propped up perfectly and I can just pop the bottles in and sit and feed them. So an essential for me being a twin mum but again, you can get single feeding pillows as well, which probably would really help out. It's just a nice way that I can feed the girls together. And little Rosabella has actually fallen asleep down there. There she is, in the land of Nod. So I then have two sleepy heads, you can hear Rosabella again, which the girls sleep in during the day, supervised. Now, when these first came out, back when I had Jessie, these were recommended for babies to sleep in at night, but since then the regulations have changed. I'm not sure like what's happened, whether there's been an incident or something, I'm really not sure. But these are apparently now only meant to be used when supervised, so we use them in the day. The girls love them and sleep really well in them actually, and I absolutely love the print. And sometimes if Jordan is staying up in the room, so he sometimes like watches Netflix when I'm asleep because I do not like staying up late. We will put the girls in these on the bed while he's still awake, just to send them off. And then we'll move them into their cots, which I'll show you in a minute, which are upstairs. But yeah, these sleepy heads are brilliant. With Jesse, he did use to sleep in them in the night because that was like the thing to do then. And to be honest, Jesse slept awful though, whatever you did with him. <laughs> So um, they didn't really work, but the girls do sleep really well in them in the day. And I absolutely love the print. And I love the fact you can get so many lovely prints for sleepy heads. But here are the girls' sleepy heads. Obviously, I have two. And when they're in them, I do put a muslin in them. So if they are sick, which one of them has been, you can see a stain there. So this used to go in the wash. You can just rip it off and it's not too dirty on the actual sleepy head but um, it's gone through and one of the girls has been sick. So yes, our sleepy heads. So I've already touched on my pram a little bit and I'll be featuring my pram in vlogs. It's actually in the car at the moment, but I'm gonna put some pictures of the pram and what you can do with it. So I obviously use it at the moment with the car seats on and it is, hands down, which baby is that? That's India. It is, hands down, the easiest pram to fold up and fold down that I've ever had. Not to even mention it's a double and it also fits in the car like a single, which is what we needed because we couldn't fit like a big giant double in the car, it just wouldn't have worked. So that was a massive pull to the pram that it folds down, same size as a single and it fits perfectly in the car. I have a really bad back and I just Googled it and apparently it's because of the hormones um, during pregnancy, like it relaxes all your muscles and all your joints. And then when you've had the baby, you can get a bad back because of that. And I do have a bad back. It's never happened before, but it's happened this time. So if I keep moving around, it's because I'm trying to like, not even loosen up my back, but just stop the pain. Um, I digress. 
but yes and the other thing I love about the ABC zoom is that the twins can face each other like how cute is that so you can face the seats to face each other and it also comes in a single as well but you can face the seats to face each other I love the fact it has a really easy place to clip on my nappy bag it has loads of storage underneath so absolutely love my pram and really recommend it it is quite long so it is long to push but it's such an easy pram to push it's such a lovely pram to push and although it is long there's Rosabella I haven't had any issues yet like I've managed to get in everywhere um, turn around I've been in some small shops so absolutely loving my pram I then have these baby Bjorn Bjorn I hope I said that right bouncers which first thing to say is how easy do they fold up and flat for storage perfect how pretty are they I absolutely love the nude pink color they go perfectly in my living room they're just gorgeous to look at a lovely kind of baby accessory I love all things baby Sean and I have a baby carrier actually I got six years ago which I use with Jensen and it's still perfect condition now I've still got it it's gone around all my sisters now it's back with me um, the twins can't go in it yet because they're too small and the same goes for the baby bouncer unfortunately I did try and put them in it the other day because I thought that they were ready for it but they're not Rosabella is way too small and Jordan <laughs> both twins are too small but Rosabella is a bigger one and we thought she might fit but she doesn't she's too small so um Jordan put a funny picture on his Instagram of her in it obviously supervised so I'm looking forward to them using these when they're a little bit bigger so I'm looking forward to them using these when they are a little bit bigger but I have used baby bouncers with all of my children and absolutely love them and got loads of use out of them so I know I'm going to get loads of use out of this one as well so I'm now going to take you upstairs and show you what the twins have been sleeping in. They have been sleeping in the snooze pods. Now these were gifted to me from snooze pod. I feel like I feel like everyone has a snooze pod and everyone's babies sleep in a snooze pod. They're like the perfect bedside cot. The bedside cot didn't really come around until I had Jesse and I had one similar for him. It was actually borrowed off a family member. And then for the twins, obviously we needed two, so they're not sleeping together. In hospital, they did sleep together, but now they're home, we did try it, it just didn't work. So um, they have their own snooze pod. So here is one of the snooze pods. We have one the other side of the bed as well. So you can either have this down, like I've got it, or you can have it up however you like it. I also need to get some storage baskets for down there because I feel like that would be a really handy place to put nappies and things. So that is on my to-do list. I need to go to Ikea really whenever I get there. So then here is what they lay on. I have a mattress protector under here. And then their blankets which I tuck very tightly around them. A muslin cloth because you always need one of those at night. And then here... This is such a good thing. So you turn it on like that and then you press here and it does all kind of white noise for the night. So you won't be able to hear it because I'm talking but we always have it on the heartbeat setting. And it just sends the girls off and provides a nice kind of background noise. It doesn't stay on, it has like a timer. So it only stays on, I want to say around half an hour. So by the time everyone's drifted off back to sleep, that is no longer going, but a great little combo. And the girls have been sleeping very well in there, which is great. I don't really like co-sleeping, so um, this is a perfect kind of alternative because they're near you, but they're not on you and they're not near enough to use for them to be in danger. So yeah love our snooze pods so that was just a rundown of all of the products i've been using over the past two and a bit weeks i hope you guys enjoyed this video as i said i will be doing a more in-depth review on the lv breast pump any questions you may have please let me know in the comment section especially ones to do with the lv breast pump because i can then cover that in the review video or any other questions i will do my best to answer Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.